This episode was made possible by Dashlane. Protect your valuable data from prying eyes with a free account from Dashlane. In a recent episode, we looked at past predictions of the future. They got some things right, and other things very wrong, and that was only over the course of less than a century. In this episode, we're going to look at what we think the future will be like over the next thousand years. While it's very difficult, if not impossible, to accurately predict the far future, we have developed better tools to be more precise in our predictions than the people of the past. Just to be safe, we'll look at both the positive and negative possibilities of the next thousand years. Let's start with a big one, humans becoming an interplanetary species. With government organizations like NASA and private companies like SpaceX aiming to land humans on Mars by the mid-2030s at the very latest, it stands to reason that our species could have fully colonized the red planet and the moon by the year 3018. A thousand years is a very long time, but according to some scientists, not nearly long enough to create a breathable atmosphere on Mars. So while we could start the long terraforming process long before 3018, humans on Mars would still have to wear protective suits and live an indoor lifestyle for the next several thousand years. Of course, that's based on our current technology. We may discover some new way to terraform barren planets more quickly, but at the very least, we'll likely have giant biodomes where humans can walk around without their suits and live a fairly normal life far from Earth. Speaking of Earth, the main reason we'll have left our home planet is because, statistically speaking, it's only a matter of time until some natural disaster or man-made cataclysm ends our species for good. If the entirety of humanity lived on Earth when a planet-killing asteroid came knocking, game over. If, however, we managed to become a spacefaring civilization before that point, our future would be secure. Mars wouldn't be the only planet we could colonize either. Venus, as unlivable as its surface is, has a relatively temperate climate above the clouds. We could easily establish floating cloud cities that could drift around the planet on the wind, while scientists of the future worked on terraforming the surface. Some experts think that Venus is an even more promising target for colonization than Mars, so it stands to reason that by the year 3018, we could have thriving colonies on both planets. The more footholds we have away from Earth, the greater the likelihood of our survival as a species. Back on Earth, there are a few possibilities for the next thousand years. Right now, we're destroying the Earth at an alarming rate, polluting the ocean and the air, killing hundreds of plant and animal species as we destroy their homes, wrecking ecosystems and the ozone layer. If we don't get our act together, runaway climate change could cause apocalypse-level natural disasters, the likes of which we've never seen. Even today, we're beginning to see the negative effects scientists have been predicting for decades. Out-of-control wildfires, rising sea levels, melting ice caps, widespread animal extinctions, and global temperature rise. If we continue to be poor stewards of the planet for the next hundred years, life on Earth may become unsustainable. If, however, we change directions soon, and start implementing new, greener technology and stop our destructive consumerist practices, we have a chance to leave the Earth a better place for the people of the future. At our current rates of consumption, all of the planet's fossil fuels will be completely depleted in less than 110 years. If we don't implement alternative energy sources before then, our civilization is in big trouble. Scientists predict that solar power could produce a third of our necessary energy by 2060. With added help from wind and geothermal, we could be well on our way to 100% renewable energy by 2100. This would benefit not only humans, but every living thing on Earth, as our carbon footprint would be greatly reduced. With the threat of runaway climate change defeated, we could set our sights on amazing new technologies to improve our lives. One such advancement we'll probably see is the merging of man and machine. This idea is called transhumanism, and could give us abilities never before possible. By 2060, computers should be able to perform most tasks as well as or better than humans. So to keep up, we'll either need to set up a labor force comprised entirely of machines, or find a way to integrate with them. Many experts suspect that within the next hundred years, we'll be able to augment our natural bodies with complex technology. Visual overlays for entertainment and information. Direct download to our brains replacement of weak or disabled body parts with fabricated replicas. This could extend our lives, provide a greater standard of living, and allow humans to become more intelligent, more physically capable, and more productive. However, as with every new breakthrough, there could be unforeseen consequences. If we begin to augment our brains with this kind of technology, we could become susceptible to hackers accessing our information, or worse, gaining control of our motor functions. Bodies could reject inorganic replacement parts, or cause health problems down the line. Or there could be no issues at all on the individual level, but since people would live longer, the Earth could quickly become overpopulated. As artificial intelligence becomes more sophisticated, we could end up either in an automated utopia where humans are free to pursue whatever they choose, or we could find ourselves no longer at the top of the food chain, outpaced by AI that far surpasses our intelligence and abilities. Then there's the possibility that we could have everything we ever wanted, media, communication, games, a whole virtual life, without ever having to leave home. 
social skills could suffer, and we might end up with a society of humans unable or unwilling to interact in person. Of course, these are fears that crop up every time a new technology is developed. Sure, we have people addicted to TV or video games or smartphones, but it's not the majority of society, and we have no reason to believe that would be different in the future. In terms of culture, the populations of Earth will be much more connected, and if we manage to survive another thousand years, we'll likely be much more peaceful than we are today. World religions will likely be very different from their current forms, and many speculate that religion may no longer play a central role in society. Travel between countries will be quick and easy, with new modes of transportation taking much less time than the conventional methods of today. There will likely be fewer languages, or combinations of current languages, making it easier for people from around the world to communicate. Depending on how well we cooperate with each other, we could very well see a global currency, or if we become a multiplanetary species, a galactic currency. In a society where the majority of labor is handled by machines, the arts could flourish, and we could enjoy a new renaissance of literature, music, film, the fine arts, and technology. With this new technology and the time to pursue humanitarian endeavors, we could possibly end world hunger, homelessness, and disease, and some even speculate that eventually we might be able to upload our consciousness into computers and defeat death itself. This is all completely feasible within the next thousand years, but it's impossible to predict which path humanity will take. Will we be able to overcome our selfish nature and work towards a better future for the generations to come? Will we become an interplanetary species in time? Will humans even exist in 1,000 years? We'll just have to wait and see. While we may not have to worry about people hacking our brains just yet, we do have to worry about keeping our personal data secure. With the new and improved Dashlane, it's easier than ever to stay safe online. Dashlane is a free, super secure way to protect your identity, keep track of all your passwords in one place, and even autofill login fields for each account. It uses a US patented local encryption storage system that can only be accessed by the user. A couple awesome new features they recently added is offering a VPN and dark web monitoring to actively protect your identity. The VPN encrypts your data on unsecure connections to keep your information safe and private. Dark web monitoring is just as awesome as it sounds. It lets you monitor up to five email accounts and get detailed security alerts if any personal information is found on the dark web. This service scans more than 12 billion records attached to hacks and data breaches, with almost a million new records added every day. One thing that hasn't changed with the new Dashlane is how easy it is to handle all your passwords. If you do have the same password everywhere and you don't want to deal with going to each individual website and going through all the steps of changing your password each time, you can just press one button in the Dashlane app and it does it for you automatically. Super quick, super secure, and you don't have to worry about remembering a bunch of different passwords because Dashlane takes care of it for you. You can also save other autofill options and sensitive documents like software licenses, your credit card details, or your shipping address, and populate those fields when needed. The free version of Dashlane lets you store up to 50 passwords, autofill login fields, and lots more. But if you upgrade to a premium account for just 5 bucks a month, you get even more cool features, like the VPN and dark web monitoring. Fans of Second Thought can get a 30-day free trial of Dashlane Premium by following the link below, or use the code Second Thought to get a 10% discount on your premium subscription. It's available for Mac, PC, iOS, and Android, so whether you go for the free or premium account, I can't recommend Dashlane highly enough. So, to support the channel and secure your valuable data, check out Dashlane at the link below.